hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to create link in adobe acrobat let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in adobe acrobat i want you to click the sign up option and from here just to follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go Creating links here in Adobe Acrobat is a simple process that can be very useful for a variety of reasons. Once you are logged into your Adobe Acrobat online and you have launched the Adobe Acrobat on your computer, you might want to go to the document section wherein you want to create a link in that specific PDF or uh, file. In my case, I'm going to be using this. So you have two options. Right now, I'm using the Adobe Acrobat the web version and for me to be able to create a link all we're gonna do is go to the top right corner where you can see this section that says get a link to this document to share with others it's very easy all you're gonna do is click that you see anyone on the internet with the link can access the file all you're gonna do is get the link it's creating a shared link right here just wait for it a little bit and now the link has been copied and of course it would be forwarded here Wherein, if you want to add more settings or tweak some uh, access, you can also do that as well. All right, you can put in the comment right here. You see this? Copy that link and send it to the, uh, for example, if you're working with multiple freelancers or to your client. Now, if you go to the desktop application, now it's a similar process because you have to just click the get link here and file will be uploaded to adobe cloud storage now this time you can control if you want to allow the comments here all right similar process get the link here because you know links can help readers quickly jump to different sections of the document all right you can add links to important pages making it easier for users to find relevant information without scrolling the entire documents and of course by adding link here for example this is a link click on that you can create interactive buttons that provide an action such as submitting a form or opening a file this link might be leading to the external websites for further reading resources or tools now what i'm going to do is quickly switch to our gplabs youtube channel so if you haven't already you might want to click the subscribe button so you'll get notifications in our latest content i'm going to get the url of our channel and then switch to adobe acrobat now from here you can put in the link on top of the uh, URL that we have already provid provided here. All right. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.